Good morning, guys. Welcome aboard. Luke with Premium Aquatics here. Hope you had a great Halloween. Got some candy. Got your kids some candy. Either way, I ate some already from my kids. But uh, had a good time. Unfortunately, it rained. Then it snowed. And then it rained again. It was actually nicer when it was snowing as opposed to raining because you didn't get nearly as soaked or pelted with the rain. We had umbrellas, unfortunately. So uh, kids loved it. They had a great time. They didn't want to stop. So they were troopers and they got the candy they deserved for it. So um, Avery went as a transformer. I'll put it there. Sky Warp loved it. It actually transformed, but because of how wet it was, he couldn't show it off any. But uh, that was fun building. Uh, built that over the couple months or whatever but uh, that was a lot of fun Ella went as a rainbow unicorn so can't go wrong there and they had blast so I'm not gonna argue today couple of things one a box showed up completely forgot it was coming but it showed up so we're gonna open that up and second the anemone this this rose bubble it um it did something it did something I've been feeding it heavily almost every day. I go in there, feed the clownfish, and they're by the clownfish, so I spot feed the anemones while I'm there, and I, I give him a lot of food, just fill him up. He swallows it down real quickly. Um, and then I took this video clip that I'm showing here, and uh, this is sped up like 500% or something like that, and it took like a 30 minute, 40 minute video. And that night, I came back to the, or the, the next day I came back to the tank, and the anemone was back under the cave and it was not coming out fully. So I thought, well, that's weird. I wonder if it's on the move again. Um, I turned my return pump up to level three. So it was getting hit a little bit more that you can see in that video clip. So maybe he wasn't as happy with that. So he decided, well, you know what? I'm not gonna be there. I was happy because I thought he was gonna come out the front. But part of him was in the back hole where his foot was. So I thought, well, that's strange. He's really stretched out and um, you know, he's trying to get light through the back, getting light from the front. I don't know what he was doing. I was hoping he was going to come out front so he'd be more in the display area uh, as you walk by and all that stuff. But as I was doing more and more looking and inspecting and everything, I realized he split. He, he went down the middle, took off a part of himself. Part of him is now here in the back. The rest of him is down here. The main part is down in the cave still. Uh, so they're healing up right now, but I didn't even think about it. Um, but if, you know, you, you do some research on anemones, one way to, uh, there's several ways that anemones will split. Obviously, one, you can cut them. Um, stress causes it. But another way is uh, that I've read a lot about is feeding them and feeding them and feeding them and doing it for a constant week or two. And, um, and they very well may split on you. That's cool. I was actually very surprised to see it. At, I've never had an anemone split. I've had some rose, or I've had, I think, one rose bubble, a green bubble, and some long tentacles, and I've never had them split on me. So that was actually really cool to have happen in the system. Um, but really beautiful. Uh, it's a really beautiful anemone with its red, orange tentacles, and then the green base, and how it just flares up like that. I absolutely, I absolutely love that anemone. So he's really cool. Um, the box. Let's open this up. So, we all know what that means. We gotta do some investigation. Let's figure out what it is. I know what it is, but you don't. So, let's go. Ta-da! A Gyri XF330, pump only. Pump only, what's that gonna do me? I don't have a controller for it. So, let's see what else we got. We got cord, cable, 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 cables. But what I'm really excited about, what this this is really cool. I'm excited to see what this does, try it out, play around with it. To run this gyre and my vortex and other things down the road, we're looking at ba -ba -da -da, the Hydros Wave Engine. This is a pump controller. And uh, you might say, well, I don't understand what's who cares about a pump controller there's a million and one pump controllers but guess what make sure nothing else is in here always make sure nothing else is in there guess what this does this allows me to plug in 
not only my gyri into this, it allows me to plug in my Ecotex into this. If I had some um, Coral View wave pumps, it would allow me to plug into this. All into this unit right here, it would all plug into this, and then I can utilize my phone to control everything together under one house. So that way, if I have more than one pump on my system, or if you were to have two systems by each other and you wanted to run uh, several of different pumps and whatnot, you could utilize this controller on it. That is cool. That is really cool. I uh, we're talking to Coral View about it. Um, I love the idea of it, so I'm really hoping for some great things uh, with this, especially uh, being able to get a gyre on this system and see how it does. Uh, all these cables, all these cables are for different pumps. The ice cap, the XF 130 and 230, the XF 330 and 350, a Varios 2 and 4, or a Pulse 2 and 4, the Coral View pumps. XF 280, 150, and 250. This is for a zero to 10 volt. So that means if you have a zero, a zero to 10 volt pump, you can do that too. You're not getting a controller and be limiting by their brand. Um, a lot of companies will obviously do branded controllers and that's just the way it's been for a long time. Um, but Coral View said, why? It doesn't make any sense. We want one housing one controller let's do it all and the other nice thing about this is is it allows me to get rid of oh that went into the water this is a getting started guide a wet one and so what this is going to also allow me to do is this is going to be a, the power brick but depending on what you're running you can actually get rid of your other power supplies you got to look at see what pump it is. So this is going to allow you to get rid of excess transformers depending on how you're setting it up. Um, as long as you're okay with having it all in one housing, goodbye, goodbye. Send them out the window, throw them out there, break your window, throw them out. Just do it. It's it's fine. It'll you'll it's fine. It's fine. Okay, relax. This is it. There's not a lot to it really. It's uh, very small. You obviously have your four mounting holes, and then we have all our ports on what we're gonna do. Uh, the bus ports, here are the pump outlets, there are four. This is for power, and then this is the zero to 10 volt. You can link these together. So you're not limited to just these. If you have a huge system and you've got pumps galore, or if you got a whole fish room and you got pumps galore, you could daisy chain these together and continue to control pump after pump after pump all under one housing. So that is just Phenomenal. So let's dive a little more into it. Come on, throw those, did you throw those transformers out yet? Come on. Uh, to get it set up, I gotta find the right cable here. The zero to 10 volt pump adapter. This is what I'll be using for the Varios pump. So I will be utilizing that in one of the zero to 10 volt ports. And then I will be using this cable right here. Very simple to do. Obviously what we're going to be doing is just remove one of these. And obviously you can see it's color coded to make it nice and easy for you as well. Um, that has yellow, this has purple on it so you know where you're connecting to what. And actually it'll make it so you can follow your pumps a little bit easier as well if for some reason you are needing to get in here to switch things around. So we'll just tighten this down. The other side will go into the pump cable so now I'll just plug in the power supply and we'll get everything set up. And obviously I'll uh, remove one of these, put this unit on um, and we'll go from there. Now, because I do have an anemone, one important thing is this little cover right here. I'm gonna wanna make sure that this is on. Um, even with this, it could be a little sticky and basically what this is, it's a little sleeve to put over the end of it. I'm going to put it over like this and this will help ensure that things stay out of your propeller. Very easy to put on. And now I have a lot better protection from um, anything getting in here snail wise, um, anemone wise. That is what my biggest concern would be, would be anemones. I think we should be good since these holes are actually very, very small. So uh, we're good there. So that's plugged in. We'll plug in the Varios. And then lastly, of course, for the Ecotex, we will just get on the app and we'll connect it up wirelessly. 
So, uh, let's get it set up. Fancy. I like it. All right, guys. It's powered on. Plugged it in. I took out the 0 to 10 volt pump for now just so I could show it off. But uh, let's go ahead, get into the Hydros app. Let's set these pumps. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Interrupting here. I'm going to cut it right now. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, we want to go, I want to go a little more in depth with the setting up of this controller and the app. And to do that, we'll make this video very long. So I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to get out of here. Stay tuned next week. We'll go over the app. We'll set up both of the pumps, even the various I'm going to get on this thing, and we'll see what we can figure out with it, see what type of programs we have available to us, um, how to get it set up, and we'll go as in-depth as possible for you guys to really take a look at this. Uh, I'm excited to get it set up and try it out, so stay tuned. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you stay the most up to date on this system as well as the other videos we're putting out, and I will catch you next weekend. Peace.